<laughs> Queen Chingling back here. I ain't made a video and I don't know how long. And I tell you what the deal is, is that I got really upset about the thing on Rosewood, the wreck, and I, I haven't heard anything about it. Wish the boy best of luck. But you know what? Old Queen Chingling thinking about it. And probably the, about the best thing for we can do is just... I think it's time to pick up the lottery back again, okay? I apologize to all you guys for the interruption in time and times I ain't made no videos. So, um, part of what the deal is, I did the workouts for pick three and pick four. Um, I did all the workouts that I knew. There's a few new ones out there now. Um, a few mathematical issues that I've learned and hey, I mean, I've been pretty good as far as picking the pick three and pick four numbers. Um, been pretty accurate too. But you know, when I first started this, my intention was this, and, and I'm going to say this so you guys kind of understand where I'm coming from. My intentions was to um, actually use, try to hit the pick three as often as I could and use that money to hit pick, not pick four, but you know, it's kind of on up the line. Eventually start being able to do a lot of uh, mega ball and power balls, okay? So what I have been trying to do and spending my time when I'm learning about the lottery is I've been concentrating on the mega ball and power ball. Was it Mega Millions? Yeah, Mega Millions. <laughs> so I can't even get it straight. I can't even get it straight. But anyway, I mean, I think that's what we're going to do next. Because I'm a little bit tired of doing pick three and pick four. I've already showed you guys how to do the workouts. And most everybody wants me to do the workout for them. And that's what the, part of the problem is. Why I haven't been posting videos on here. There's a lot of people out there that does do um, videos on pick three and pick four. And I don't want to be just a repeat, a repeat of the same thing what they're saying, okay? So what I'm going to start doing is we're going to start predicting Powerball and Mega Ball, which I think is cool because I know a lot of tips and tricks, and I've been watching these uh, Mega Ball and the Powerball, and that's what it's all got to do with. Not necessarily the numbers, you know, the five numbers that go that precede the Mega Ball or the Power Ball. But regardless of, if you if you hit, even if you only spend like $2, if you hit the Power Ball or the Mega Ball, you get it right. And I'm not talking about the other five numbers that precede that. I'm talking about just only the Mega Ball or the Power Ball. Then you're going to get something back. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start predicting the Mega Ball and the Power Ball and that seems like that would be pretty easy to do I don't hey, I, oh Queen Chingling does look rough she's been through a hell of a lot this past winter it's been cold I've been sick um, sometimes I think <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I think the whole world's caving in on me. But you know what? I got good sense enough to know what to keep rolling and what not to keep rolling. As long as I got my <coughs> house kind of in order, I got my communication, which means my phone and all that, my internet on, I'm good. As long as I got my car insurance paid, I can go. So... If I can get out and go out, I'm good to go. I'm working on that damn live bill now. That's what I'm working on. But tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I got to go pay my dad gum car insurance here shortly, and that's like, dang, that's like four hundred something dollars, and that's <coughs> got me kind of upset. But you know, it's like the old saying goes: driving around without like without car insurance is like walking around in a shitty diaper. <laughs> Either way, you make one wrong move, you got an old damn big old mess on your hands. So, 
we don't want to make no wrong move. We're going to pay that car insurance and get it together. And hey, I might even start posting a daily quote. <coughs> yeah, I'm cut cough. That. God bless. My quote for the day is this. Driving without car insurance is like walking around in a shitty diaper. One wrong move and you got a shitty mess on your hands. Driving without car insurance not getting caught is like walking around in a shitty diaper. Because eventually somebody's going to smell it. I mean, you know you're driving dirty. And you're going to get caught sooner or later. But, um, eventually you either got to go clean the mess up so it don't stink so bad. Driving around without car insurance. Eventually, if you make one wrong move, you're going to have a lot of shit to deal with. That's true. Very true. Oh, you got to get yourself cleaned up and get straightened out. So you walking, talking clean, and so you can be productive. Without the car insurance, you ain't being productive. That's all I got to say about it.